Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited because we're unboxing the Galaxy S7. Courtesy of my girlfriend, thanks for letting me unbox your phone. I think the Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge are two of the best smartphones on the market right now, for reasons I'll explain later. And better yet, they each come with their own Gear VR. Here is the box. She got the 32 gigabyte gold platinum. Here are the specs. We got 4G LTE, 64-bit quad-core processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 5.1-inch quad HD Super AMOLED screen, 12-megapixel dual-pixel main camera, an amazing low-light camera, 5-megapixel front-facing camera, also an amazing low-light camera, IP68 dustproof and water-resistant. You can go swimming with this thing. Wireless charging. Charging pad required, sold separately. I have a wireless charger for my Note 5, which I'm filming this with, and it's amazing. Secured by Samsung Knox, 32 gigabytes of memory with support for external micro SD card, which I wish I had external micro SD card support on the Galaxy Note 5. Samsung Pay, which I don't use on my phone, and Android operating system, okay. Ramp down here. In the box, we have the phone, Galaxy S7, USB cable, a charger, a headset, which is nice, getting started on the go adapter, we'll see what that is, a SIM card is installed, injection pin, okay, so she got this with Sprint, and Sprint has the deal that you get a Gear VR along with it, set that aside, and so, she now has a Gear VR, and we're going to do some multiplayer games, like Herobound Gladiators. Alright, let's see how we open this bad boy. How? Oh, oh, it's fancy. -na 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 -na. I actually haven't held this, and I'm really excited to, because I think it's beautiful. Okay. Sprints. Go international... So, after I unbox this, I have to put everything exactly the way it was back for Raquel. <laughs> now, this phone feels amazing in the hand. It feels solid and just super premium and great. The front screen is rounded off on these edges, which feels really nice as well. It's, it's almost like the back, how the back is rounded here and feels great. The front is smoothed off on the edges and it feels great. This phone is a millimeter thicker this way than the Galaxy S6, which means that the camera is even more flush. You can barely even see it. And the home button is also more flush. That might not be a result of it being thicker, but the home button is more flush and I definitely like that feel. The S6's button was, it came out more than my Note 5, and my Note 5 is comes out more than this one. And this one feels really good. It feels good to press. The volume buttons feel very nice. I'm not going to turn this on because that is a sacred experience for the owner of this phone. All right, so we have here the 12 megapixel camera. And Samsung has done an amazing job with their cameras and low light quality. Um, my Note 5 has an amazing low light camera. I'm always surprised when I'm in my room and the lighting is really bad. And I just pull out the camera just to admire how well the low light is. And it always surprises me. I look under the desk. It sees everything under the desk. And I go, I point to the dark corners of the room and somehow it pulls out light from all of the darkness. That's magic. And Samsung has said that this camera is even better, has an even better low light camera than the last year's models. I'm gonna set this aside for now as we're gonna look at the rest of the box. Okay, so off comes the backing. And out comes a sticker, a warning sticker. Okay, out comes, this is the getting started. Let's get started. How to transfer content via the USB connector. 
health information and this is the sim removal tool then in here check it out we have a USB connector wow so this is good for file transfer this is the first company um, first time that I've heard of a company supplying this with the phone so that's really nice all right here we have the turbo charger which is an amazing charger I have it for my note 5 and I will never buy another phone unless it has fast charging and here is the cable for that very nice the cable also has let me pull this out and sneak it back in after it has these ridges right there which you can tell when you're trying to plug it in which side is supposed to be on the top and it's the ridged side let me sneak it back in okay and here we have the headset headphones let me sneak it out of here okay Samsung provided these headphones I wonder if she chose purple I'm not sure <laughs> so I figured out they look super purple because of this bright light shining down on it now they look just kind of grayish so I wonder if they're glow in the dark um, you can see that there's different ear sizes in there um, and you can see the control switch right there in the back corner where it has a microphone volume buttons and a answer call button answer and end call button so there we have the headphones what's behind here nothing there we go the Samsung Galaxy S7 unboxing this phone and the S7 Edge are an absolute no-brainer if you have an upgrade with your carrier waiting because not only do you get the best phone on the market right now with all the best features you get a free Samsung Gear VR which I also make videos for and which I also love using virtual reality and augmented reality are the future so if you want to be one of the first to be experiencing it then now is your chance for the cheapest option the Gear VR you don't even need to buy the Rift or the Vive. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And maybe if I get enough likes on this video, she'll let me do a review of this beautiful phone.